hello welcome back to my channel myself SD thanks for watching please subscribe my channel like and share today I'm going to show you how to use RDA RDS database to my application of the WordPress website so first of all I logged into my server in my previous video how to back up you can check so first of all I go to my web folder here is my WordPress website and that the IP address is here you can check that 134.255 it's my database so here is also my database so here is my also RDS system I have a endpoint I go to that edit WP dash config dot php and here is my define the database name database name is my wordpress and the username I have to change because sd2018 is my username password this is a password and the main thing is that the host host not local host it's a uh, okay then I save it yeah I change the database it's already changing I already changed to that server you can check that DB connection it's working I also check once that the security In my security group, I select that security and also my security group I edit, customs, I save. I assign to my PHP server, sorry.
it's already used to PHP through that WordPress but uh, WordPress is a CMS based software so have to change the some URL and all, and all these things so that's why it's not showing if you if you want to change with uh, uh, some related uh, URL so you can change from that but normally this is a functionality of using the RDS so you just change that uh, the db details so it will change the all these things so thank you so much for watching my video if you have any query related please comment out in my video and you can check out in my previous video how to backup and restore for rds so thanks a lot thank you so much have a great day